Thanks for bringing the treats, Ginger Snap. These strawberry cookies are very delicious. Pupcake says he likes the cupcakes. Tommy's welcome, everybody's welcome, and there's whole oodles and boodles more left, so come on, dig in and eat up. It's such a pretty day. We should do something special. I know. We could go on a nature hike and look at all the autumn colors. I have an even better idea. Why don't we hike into the deep, dark briar? It's good and spooky this time of year. Good and spooky? Well, uh, um. What's the matter? You're not as scared, are ya? Scared? Us? No, 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 no way. Come on, I dare you to go. Oh, Huckleberry, dares are just silly. Double dare ya. Double silly. Triple scoop dare you with whipped cream and a strawberry on top. <gasps> You're on. We're going. We are. When? There's no time like right away. If we want to get to the briar and back before sunset, we better hurry. This is going to be fun. Just let me set our course. Okay, I'm ready. Me too. As ready as I'll ever be. Then come on, you bunch of scaredy cats. a bear pretending to be a frog, or a lion acting like a bear pretending to be a frog, or a tiger who wants to think he's a lion acting like a bear pretending to be a frog. Oh, I've been here a million times and I never saw any tiger. Huckleberry's right. We can't let our imaginations get the best of us.
Ginger Snap? Who, me? No? Uh-uh. But maybe we could shed a little light on the situation, huh? Down that way. We can't go that way. Why not? I don't know what's down there. You said you knew every inch of this place. Every inch but the inches down there. Well, we've got no choice. We gotta go. For Pupcake. What's the matter? Not as scared, are ya? Not me. so scared in my life. I'm sure we'll feel better once we're snug in our own beds. Um, Strawberry, maybe it would be better if we all sort of stuck together tonight. I guess we could sleep here. <sighs> yeah, this is better. Huh? <sighs> maybe if you're a sardine. Good night, everybody. Now, what was th th that? <laughs> and what is that? It's a big boogity beastie. A eepy creepy heepy jeepy. A massive mop headed monstrosity. Where? Where? <gasps> My word! What are you all doing here? We're having a sort of sleepover. Ah, I see. Another party I wasn't invited to. Honey Pie, it's not like that. We all went for a hike. And we went into the briar. And we saw this awful old house. Then we heard this terrible sound. It was a monstrosity. Ah, yes. I, too, have heard tales of such creatures. You say you were on the far side of the briar, in the dreaded haunted valley? That is where the fiercest of creatures dwell. <gasps> there is a house and... Of course! There's always a house. Those things love to take over houses. Barge right in without an invitation, they do. That is so rude! What you saw, my friends, was a genuine, one-of-a-kind, blueberry beast. It was? And you're lucky to be here to tell about it. Oh, Honey Pie, you're j just j j joking, aren't you? 
The beast is no joke. Well, good night, all. Pleasant dreams. Everyone sleep. Not too good. <laughs> Speak for yourself. And we still don't know what to do about that blueberry beast. I think we should find out what it is we're so afraid of. We should? I think we ought to be good neighbors and go say hello. You're kidding, right? No, we should introduce ourselves to him. To her. To it. Or whatever it is. But it might use its magic on us, right, Honey Pie? Yes, well, um, uh, er, you never know. Truth is, we won't know what it is really like until we meet it. Guess it couldn't hurt. Check it out. It's just you and me and... And where's Pupcake? He must have gone to the house of the Blueberry Bees. Tell me how this turns out. Ugh. Custard? I'm not going to leave Pupcake alone all by himself. I'm going after him. Pupcake can handle himself. He's a dog. He's descended from wolves. They're very brave. The closer you get, the scarier it looks. Just noticed that, huh? Hello? Hello? Good news. No one's home. Now let's go. I guess you're right. Blueberry Beast, are you? No, <laughs> I'm Blueberry Muffin. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Custard, and I think you already know Pupcake. What? Oh, yes, he's very sweet. He was keeping Cheesecake and me company. Who? My pet mouse. Cheesecake. <laughs> Are you telling us there's just you and a mouse in this house? Yep. But what about the weird lights and the shadows? I lit a candle so we could work after dark. And that creepy sound. That was Pupcake. He saw me making a snack and wanted it. <laughs> I mean. Well, I was riding down the road and I really love old houses. And I saw this big old thing just sitting here and I really couldn't stand it looking so sad and abandoned. And I asked myself, Blue, don't you think you could fix this up really great? And I answered myself, sure I could. So Cheesecake and I started. What's all that? 
Those are my costumes and books and stuff. I just love to dress up and put on plays, don't you? And I absolutely love to read. Me too. But I won't have time for it till I get this house in shape. Maybe I can help. Really? That would be great. We can't stand her doing nothing. We've got to go back for Strawberry. What if the Blueberry Beast got her already? Look, Strawberry's our friend, and if she's brave enough to go back there, we have to be brave too. I'd like it better if you weren't so right. Here goes nothing. Strawberry? Oh, you came! We came to save you before it's too late, so come on, will you? Come on! Everyone, I want you to meet Blueberry Muffin. Strawberry, no! We gotta get out of here! Would anybody like a snack? I just baked them. Hey, she's not a monster. Fact, she looks kind of friendly. She isn't scary in the very least. I wish we'd have known that from the start. We could have known if we'd just gotten to know her first. You can't judge a book by its cover or a story by the way it ends. So be alert and aware of the things that spook and scare, but never be afraid to make friends. You can't judge a house by its colors or the road by the way it bends. Cause that road may lead you to a house that's painted blue. So never be afraid to make friends. Making friends takes some work and it's scary. But it's worth it to give it a try. Or else you might miss a friend like Blueberry. And that'd be a reason to cry. Oh, you can't be afraid they won't like you. Or there's no way you're gonna blend Cause the best work of art comes directly from your heart When you make a very brand new friend So you don't want to jump to conclusions Just because someone's different or new Judge a book by its cover And your story will have a happy end When you work through your fear The reward that may appear Is a very, very dear new friend Now we've all got a brand new friend It's absolutely positive percent perfect. You helped me make this house a home. I'm sorry we were being so silly. You weren't silly. Whenever you feel scared or unsafe, it's real important to find someone you trust and tell them. You can say that again. But sometimes we're scared of a thing because we don't know anything about it. We let our imaginations run away with us. Once we find out about the things that scare us, sometimes they're not so scary anymore. And sometimes we even end up with a new friend. Anybody hungry? Yeah, you bet. Absolutely, positively, you bet. I am. Me too. Let's eat. Come on, Custard. Come on, Pupcake. Hold on, now, wait for me. <sighs> What's the big hurry anyway? I want to see if the pond's frozen over. Today could be the very first day to ice skate. Arf, arf, arf. What is it, Pupcake? He says he knows a shortcut, which sounds good to me. Come on then, show us the way. Arf, arf. <sighs> Uh, uh. 
Strawberry, come get your skates on. Watch this ice dance I've been working on. It's kind of like ballet and kind of not. That's some very fine skating, Angel Cake. Look what I've been working on. I saw snowflakes flowing across the field like this. I'm a snowflake. You gotta check this out. Look what I can do. I am a robot. You know, you all have such interesting ways of skating. We should put on an ice show. That's a great idea, Strawberry. Perfect. Yeah, let's do it. I can build some seats over there. I can make a poster. I can handle refreshments. And you can do your famous ice dance, Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah! Come on, Strawberry, show us. <laughs> well, all right. Who's the girl who's just the very sweetest thing? Who makes the flowers blossom and the birdies sing? Well, it's Strawberry Shortcake. Why don't you do the shortcake swing? Shortcake swing, come and do a shortcake swing. Oh, it's just a shortcake, shortcake swing. Just a little shortcake, shortcake swing. We got a shortcake, shortcake swing. Come on, and won't you shortcake, shortcake swing? And if you change great things that you can do, we'll take it step by step and just review. And when the troubles come, we'll muddle through. And you'll get better every day. Yeah, you'll get better every day. How much joy and laughter can one kid bring? How do you make a party out? like our strawberry shortcake. Well, I guess it's about time to break for lunch. Does anybody know who that is? She's been watching us for a while. No, I sure don't. Nope, don't recognize her. Who is she anyway? I've never seen her before. Me neither. I wonder what she wants. Let's go see, huh? I want to solve this mystery. Hello? Hello? Uh, hi. Why did you run away from us? Why did you follow me? <sighs> to find out why you ran away. Oh, well, um. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Angel Cake and Orange Blossom and Ginger Snap. Hi. Arp, arp. And that's Pupcake and Custard. My name's Apricot. It's very nice to meet you, Apricot. Would you like to join us for lunch? Oh, yeah, sure. That'd be totally cool. Come on, then. Arp, arp. Would you like another sandwich, Apricot? Yes, thank you. So where exactly do you live precisely, huh, Apricot? Mm. Well, you know the big mountain over that way? Yeah. With the castle on top? That's my place. You live in a castle? You'll have to come by sometimes. It's totally cool. I have a lot of parties up there. It sounds amazing. Totally amazing. I never had a friend who lived in a castle before. Well, you do now. Of course you know. It's not all fun and games living in a castle. I mean, we're talking about 40 rooms. It takes forever to clean. Yeah, I guess it would. Never thought of that. As long as you're in Strawberry Land, why don't you come skating with us? We go every day when the pond's frozen. I like that a lot. Great! Meet us at the park tomorrow morning. Well, thanks for the lunch. Bye for now. You're very welcome. Bye! Take care! See you tomorrow! Can I walk you home, Apricot? Uh, um, no. That's okay. But, hey, thanks. I think I'll take the long way. Bye. Oh, 
Okay, then. See ya, Strawberry. Goodbye, Orange Blossom. <sighs> well, hey, it's not exactly a castle, but it's my home sweet home. Do you think Apricot will really come today? I don't know, but I hope so. Come on, let's warm up. Here she is. Come on, Apricot. We're just getting started. Have you ever tried ice dancing before? Ah, oh, sure. I was skating before I was walking. We'll show you some of the dances we're doing in our big show. Do you want to start, Angel Cake? I'd be happy to. Beautiful, Angel. Now show her your ice dance, Strawberry. Well, okay. It goes sort of like this. Did you ever see anything like it? Strawberry's routine is going to be the biggest thing in our show. Hooray! Go, Strawberry! Look at those moves! You're the best, Strawberry! Yay! Go, Strawberry! Oh, I can do that easy. Really? You mean it? Totally. I could do it in my sleep. Matter of fact, I learned to ice dance like that when I was four. I won a gold medal for it. Hey, maybe you could dance it in the show. But Strawberry Shortcake, you've been practicing that routine forever and ever. I know, but what a great way to welcome Apricot to Strawberry Land, don't you think? Well... Yeah, maybe. I guess so. What do you say, Apricot? Will you do it for us? Well... Come on, it'd be very cool. Well, sure, why not? Yeah, Can't wait to see this you. This will be really great. It'll be fun. What? You can't let that kid dance your dance, Strawberry. Why not, Custard? Because, because, well, there's something about her, that's all. I mean, a castle, 40 rooms. Do you really believe that, Strawberry? Well, Custard, I don't really care where she lives. I wouldn't be surprised if she's making it all up. You have to give her a chance. I think you'll come to like her. I thought we could do the ice dances right out there. Hmm. We can put seats over there. Three rows. One, two, three. Great. Let's get busy. I'll get my hammer and saw. I'll start putting up some decorations. I'll get to work on those refreshments. Could you hand me that fascia board, Strawberry Shortcake? Here, let me get that. Hi, Apricot. Thanks. When we're done here, we're going to rehearse for the show. Um, that's a piece of molding, Apricot. There's the fascia board. Yeah, I knew that. I'll finish off this end down here. Do you know how to build things, Apricot? I mean, it's okay if you don't. Oh, sure. I once took carpentry classes at a very famous university. Oops. Oh. Do you need a little help there, Apricot? Oh, it's these nails. I'm not used to the cheap, bendy kind. They're finally totally cool. Oh, that's some fancy woodworking, Apricot. Well, thanks, Ginger Snap. Maybe we could help with decorations for a while. Oh, sure, great idea. Glad I could help. Yeah, me too. Why did she say she could do it when she couldn't? I think she wants to impress us. I think we've done a very nice job. All that's left is for us to rehearse. Let's get our skates on. Hey, what happened to Apricot? She needs to practice too. Where'd she go? She was here a while ago. Why don't you get started? I'll go find her. Apricot! Oh, hi, Angel Cake. What's up? Did you forget? We're going to rehearse the ice dances now. Oh, yeah, right. But I can't. I have something to do. Oh, okay. But I'll be there later, all right? 
Yeah, all right, Apricot. Of course, it's not like I need the practice, you know. Well, that was a good rehearsal. Am I too late? I'm afraid so. It'll be dark soon. Oh, well, no big deal, I guess. I hope you find time to rehearse soon because we have a big surprise for you. What's that? I finished the poster. You're going to be the star of the show. Oh, how totally cool. Hmm. Remember, tomorrow's the big show. We'll meet early to get ready. Okay, right. see you then. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Apricot? What is it, Strawberry? I was just wondering if everything's all right. Oh, well, yeah. Everything's totally cool. Why wouldn't it be? Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Well, no. Oh? You're sure? I gotta go. See you tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow. <sighs> Come on, Custard. Pupcake, let's go home. Oh? Hold on a minute, Pupcake. Something's just not right. And we're going to find out what it is. Is somebody there? Guess not. Come on. Hello? I'm imagining things. Why'd she go in there? What happened to the 40-room castle? I think we better tell Strawberry about this. Are you very sure this is where she lives? Oh, yeah. We're sure. Oh! Are you going to go in and have a talk with her, Strawberry? Oh, no. I couldn't do that. You have to promise never to tell anyone about this. But why? We have to let her tell us. All right, Strawberry. Man, oh man, I can hardly wait. It ought to be a great show. I never thought the big day was gonna get here. I hope Apricot gets here soon. She never got a chance to rehearse, did she? And it's absolutely completely too late now. The audience has arrived. Do you want me to go look for her, Strawberry? We know where she lives. We could go get her. Oh! Oh! Hey, guys. Look. <gasps> I slipped in the snow and kind of sort of hurt my foot. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can be in the show. Not with this foot. But everyone was expecting to see you. Yeah, you are going to be the star of the show. Sorry, everybody, but I can hardly walk on this thing. It really hurts. Oh? Maybe Strawberry can do the big ice dance for us. Well, yeah. I could. You better get your skates on fast, because it's showtime. <gasps> Phew. Uh -oh. To all our very best, best friends and pets, and pets. Welcome, welcome to the, the first, first ever Strawberry Land Ice Skating Spectacular.
completely great, Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah, that was totally cool, Strawberry. Thanks, Apricot. Is your foot feeling better? <gasps> My foot? Oh. <gasps> My crutches. Can't walk without these. What's going on, Apricot? I thought you could hardly walk. You said your foot was really hurting. Yeah. My foot's fine. I couldn't skate because I don't know how. I've never huh? ice danced in my life. I never took carpentry classes either. And I sure don't live in a castle. I'm very sorry. Why did you make it all up, Apricot? I just wanted everyone to like me. I wanted to be your friend. But Apricot, friends have to be honest with each other. You should have told us the truth. We would have liked you no matter what. Strawberry. Then let's give it to him. Come on, Apricot. Whoa, wait, hold on. I can't. I've never danced on the ice before. I mean, I can skate, but I don't know how to ice dance. It's like regular dancing. Just feel the music and move. <laughs> A new friend, that'll be you, friend, if you're a true friend to me. I need a true friend, true to the end, friend, not a pretend friend, you see. Side friend, but if you lied, friend, you'd make us blue. So be no frills and no fuss with rough edges like us. Just be honest, be real, be true. for being so nice to me. That's what true friends do. <laughs> <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, two and a half. Three! when fall feels like summer. The last warm days before it gets chilly. The last warm days. We should do something special. A final fun fling before it gets cold. Yeah! Great idea! Oh, super! Let's, let's do it! Like what? Like... Mm, well, 
I don't know. But I'll think of something. Okay, Custard. How about this? We ride a graham cracker raft down the Fudge River. Bad idea for two reasons. One, the raft would get soggy. And two, I can't swim. You could wear a marshmallow life jacket. Nah, I'd look like a s'more. Picnic? Did that. Garden party? Did that twice. Sack race? Had three. <sighs> We've already done all the fun summary stuff. What's left? <laughs> he says, what about chasing squirrels? I think that's more of a dog thing, Pupcake. <laughs> you could have a sleepover. Everybody slept over at everybody's house four times. There's no more houses to sleep over in. And it's not like you could sleep outside. Oh? Oh! Well, you could, but that would be horrible. Say that again, Custard. What did I say? You said we could have a very special overnight outside camp oh, out. What? Who said that? I didn't say that. First, I have to make some very special invitations. Aww. Um, strawberry? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down. Who wants to sleep outside? Couldn't you make it somewhere warm and dry? Like somewhere inside? It'll be fun. You'll see. Having a camp out. I just can't wait. <laughs> Come to your camp out. Me go camping too. Looks like everybody's gonna be going. Hold on, we still haven't heard from Ginger Snap. An invitation? No, didn't get one of those. <coughs> Are you having a party? A nice middle of the day party, hmm? Huh? I don't understand why you didn't get the invitation. Tell you what, I'll send you another one. Oh, um, no, no, you don't have to do that. Really? <laughs> All done. There! Hey, Ginger, did you get it this time? Hmm? Oh, no, not a thing in my mailbox. This doesn't make any sense. I don't understand what is happening to the invitations. Why don't you just ask her? Or just hand her the invitation? It's too special for that. Just checking. Hello? Did you get this one? Uh, er, uh, um, no, nope, no. Can't say that, cause it didn't. But hey, that's okay, these things happen. Guess it just wasn't meant to be, huh? Hello? You gotta get that mailbox fixed. Ouch! My invitations! Hey, 
Hey, how'd those get there? Doesn't matter. Here you go. A camp out overnight? I'd love to come. See you tomorrow. It'll be great. Yeah, great. Just great. Oh no, it's almost dark. Phew, that'll keep away the creepy crawly night monsters. <laughs> I can't go on that camp out because I'll know I'm scared of the dark. So I'm just gonna have to find some way to get out of it. Everybody ready? I'm ready. Ready? I was ready yesterday. If everybody's ready, let's get this show on the road. Whoa! Ah, ah. Uh, guess I'm not quite ready. Hey, where's Ginger Snap? Ginger Snap, are you in here? Where's Ginger Snap, Chocolate? doing, Ginger Snap? Just looking for my, my warm socks. Can't go camping without warm socks. <laughs> Guess I should have chucked my sock drawer, huh? Well, let's get... Whoa. Hold on. Feeling kind of oozy-woozy all of a sudden. What's the matter? Must be some kind of all of a sudden oozy-woozy flu. <laughs> 98 point normal. That's good. Yeah, it's great. Ginger Snap, is it maybe something else? No, why do you say that? I thought maybe you don't want to go camping. Well, sure I do. Why wouldn't I? Hey, what's going on in there? Let's get this show on the road. You go on. I'll be right there. If I got to go, I'm going to be prepared. You can never have enough flashlights. Wild and woolly animals tonight? We just might. Maybe we'll see some real live, creepy, crawly night monsters. I hope there's no moon, so it'll be good and dark and scary. Ha! Huh. Me no scale. How's it going, Ginger Snap? Wonderful. Couldn't be better. This is perfect. I love it here. Uh, uh, guess I should have brought the instructions. Not bad, Apple Dumplin'. We do good. <laughs> there. Just... Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> oh, no! Perfect. Yeah! Get off, get off! Popcake? Uh, uh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> fun! This is fun! Is everything okay, Ginger Snap? It's gonna be night soon! Yep, we better get a fire going. And light the candles and turn on all the lanterns and flashlights before it gets dark? Yeah. <laughs> I'll never get this crummy tent up. Are you afraid of the dark? You don't have to tell everybody. Ginger Snap, I'm very sorry I made you come along. We can go back. Then they'll all know I'm scared. Now that I'm here, I've got to stay. I'll be okay. I've got my flashlights. We'll have a great time. Don't worry, Ginger. We'll keep the fire going all night. 
Hey, I got an idea. Let's tell spooky stories about crawling night monsters. Or we could tell some not so spooky stories. Nah. nah. Come on, let's give ourselves a good old itty bitty scare. <laughs> here in the dark. There we go. Where's Ginger Snap? In her tent, I guess. Ginger Snap, the fire's going. <gasps> She's gone. Huh? She's out there somewhere, all by herself. Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll find her. Piece of cake. What? Leave it to me, the pie guy. White flights, those flashlights have to be here somewhere. Is somebody there? The hello? Ah! Ow! I think we lost the trail. It sure is dark out here. Uh-huh. Kinda creepy. Kinda crawly. Kinda scary. Yeah, Bowie. You said it. Sure is. I shouldn't have come out here. I shouldn't have left the others. Shouldn't have come. Shouldn't have left. Frightened by the dark, haunted by the night. Just the thought of evening makes my tummy not feel right. Wish I knew how come I came to be. No more the shaky, quaky, scary little me. Fearful of the trees, shrinking from the moon. Startled at my shadow, even scared to sing this tune. There's no greater shame, I guarantee, than being flinchy, scared to scary little me. Oh, why can't I?
silly pretty cat, yellow belly bird, a heebie jeebie chicken who could use a friendly word. But who would ever make friends willingly with such a lily livered, scary little me? If only I could be more like them and less like scary. Right? Who? <laughs> I asked you who! It sounds like they're running away. Well, what do you know? Maybe those creeping, crawling night monsters are as scared of me as I am of them. I hate to think of poor Ginger Snap out there alone in the dark. I'll bet she's awful scared. I know just how she feels. Who's in there? Yikes! Oh, my! <laughs> Wait, don't go. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Why, you're not creepy or crawly night monsters. Not at all. I'm Gingersnap. Nice to meet you. You haven't seen any flashlights lying around, have you? <laughs> Can you show me where? Where is everybody? Oh, they must have gone looking for me. What? What that? I... I... don't know. Whatever it was, it sounded big. And close. Ah! Sounds like them. Why'd we ever come out here in the middle of the night? With all these night monsters. Whose idea was this camp out anyway? Aroo! Was not. It was Strawberry's idea. It's a creepy, crawly night monster! Ah! Wait, maybe there's nothing to be afraid of. What about that? Well, Lulu, let's check it out. See, there's nothing scary there. How embarrassing. We were scared of a tree? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Night monsters! They're not monsters, they're my friends. They help me find you, and they help me see. Even though the forest can be a spooky place at night, once you know what you're afraid of, sometimes it's not so scary. You just gotta take a good look at what's scaring you. They're cute little fellas. Oh, oh. Feels like fall is finally here. Maybe we ought to get back to camp and warm up. Thanks, Ginger Snap, and your friends, too. Thanks for everything. Hey, it was a snap, right, guys? <laughs>